There's been a lot of discussion recently about the advantages of what they call natural cycle IVF. In vitro fertilization classically is done with injections of follicles stimulating hormone so that the woman has multiple eggs released. So that allows one to get uh, a number of eggs uh, to transfer because not all eggs are good, not all embryos are good. The concern is that the stimulation may create some issues with receptivity of the lining of the uterus. And therefore, some younger patients under 35 may be a candidate for natural IVF, where the uh, ovulation is tracked. Again, it's usually the release of a single egg, which is then taken from the ovary with an ultrasound with a, a needle. And then that egg is fertilized in the dish. The embryo is watched and allowed to grow for somewhere between three and five days. And then that embryo is transferred back in the uterus. So again, with traditional IVF, you usually have multiple eggs, multiple embryos. So you can track the development of those embryos to get sort of the pick of the litter. And then there's commonly embryos to freeze for a second cycle. However, with a natural cycle IVF, there's usually just one egg. Now, one egg is retrieved from the ovary at least 75, 80% of the time. Uh, however, there are times where an egg is not retrieved or that particular egg is not good and doesn't fertilize or doesn't form an embryo that's really uh, structurally good enough to transfer back to the uterus. So there are limitations in the um, single egg retrieval and we know that pregnancy rates are probably less than IVF by half but again I think that's a function of whether you're dealing with one egg and one embryo versus multiple eggs and multiple embryos.